Hello, my name is Kingsley. In this video, I will be demonstrating on how to use Caesar 2. Caesar 2 is the most popular pipe stress analysis software. It is a system analysis tool to ensure that the piping system is safe. The stresses calculated are code defined stresses, such as B31.3, B31.11, B31.4, as we have here. Okay. We compare the calculated stress to define limiting stress, that is the allowable stress. We make sure that the expansion stress calculated is less than the co-defined allowable stress. We make sure that the sustained stress is less than the allowable stress. Likewise, the operating stress is less than the allowable stress. Our loads are defined based on the temperature, pressure, dead weight of the pipe, dead weight of the solution, dead weight of the fluid. In this example, we have a piping system, the valve, the elbow, just like that with the material. There's a 12 inch, 12 inch pipe standard wall, which is the same thing as schedule 40, the material A106 grade B, fluid density, specific gravity, uh, the pressure, the temperature, okay? In carrying out this analysis with this piping uh, system is very important the first thing you do you give it a node number just as this I've done here okay we, we number it 10 20 30 40 50 60 to 90 you could start from here if you wish get down to this so it's just your choice so this helps you uh, to carry out your simulation easier so we have from node 10 to 20 is a is a valve a gate valve class 150 pounds and the, the length is 20 inch in the x direction okay so we'll put 20 in the x direction and the diameter of the pipe is 12 inch 12 inch the standard wall the corrosion is point is 0 0.125 as we have here 0 0.125 okay 0.125 the fluid density will come from the specific gravity which is 0 0.72 yeah here we go the temperature is um is temperature is three four seven three four seven for the degree Fahrenheit three four seven degree Fahrenheit and the pressure is one five two psi one psi okay so the material is a one oh six b um insulation thickness is two inch the insulation material is calcium silicate. All you have is three nuts. We have an anchor no, 10 and is a good valve. One flange class 150 pounds. Okay. Is this it? We put our number. Is it? So we go. To the next to the next node yeah 20 to 30 and that is uh, a pipe leading to an elbow which is 112 inch okay still in that direction 112 inch it's a bend there we go into the next one 30 to 40 30 to 40 is in a Z direction, negative Z direction, and that's a pipe of 540 inch. So, put negative 40 inch. We have a bend. Go next, which is uh, from 40 to 50. 40 to 50, we have a lot of piping uh, is in the y axis, negative y axis, 
600 inch so root minus 600 inch okay and it has a bend the next which other piping that is in a negative z direction 268 268 inch and is leading to a valve a gate valve okay so it's not turning it turning to a bend this time so we click next um the valve is staying in the z direction 20 inch and we have a gate valve okay so we click next 70 to 80 is leading to a bend 162 162 inch Made 162 is leading to a bend so click next 19 to 80 to 90 is a uh, another piping now is in the positive x directions 147 147 inch 147 300 inches okay and it has an uh, I strain an anchor there so thus thus this is this is our this is what we're going to simulate. Let me remove the number. This is our pipe. So the next thing we do the uh, error check. Yeah. So there's no error, and this is the dead weight of the pipe, dead weight of the insulation, dead weight of the fluid. So we suggest we ask this. So and then I suggest we load to analyze. Okay, so W dead weight of the pipe, dead weight of the insulation, dead weight um, from the uh, fluid, and this and uh, load from the thermal strain as a result of the temperature, the load from pressure. So these are fitting stress, sustained stress, expansion stress. In all of this, the arrival stress should be greater than any of this. Okay, so we'll click the running map. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, the operating stress is less than the arrival stress, which is good. The expansion stress is less than the uh, arrival stress, which is but the sustained stress is over stress. So this is not good. We could check its value. Yeah, you could see it is above hundred percent. It's not good. It's not good. And you see from node twenty to node uh fifty is over stress. Then from node seventy eight. To not 90 is over stress, so we have to do something about that. We could also check for the displacement. Yeah, yeah this you could see node 10 does it's where the anchor is, there's no displacement, likewise, node 90. But much of the displacement is at node 48, quite high there. We could see the animation. So, yeah, yeah, you can see where much of the displacement is okay. So, where it is where uh, engineering judgment comes in, this is where engineering judgment comes in. So, we, we go back to we, into our input. To see what we could do about those stresses from node 20 to node 50 and from node 70 to node 90. 
So if you should reduce the length here, reduce the length here, that might reduce the stresses in this piping system. So let's we'll just try that. So if you reduce the length to let's say 10 feet. Yeah. And reduce this length to 20 feet. Okay, I'll click the running man again. Yes, coming up. Okay, so we are good. Let me check the stress value. Again. Yeah, it's below 100%. See, the liable stress is greater than the cold uh, calculated stress. And everyone is good. So, if you wish to reach me, my name is Kingsley AK. I would love to join your company. So, that's where you can reach me. Take care. Thanks for watching.